Welcome back to Backpack Hero. Finally, I'm doing runs that actually are going to be going longer. This one will go to Area 2. And I'm also doing it the Red Tusk Challenge, which means that you cannot rotate any items. I don't have food to trade for a cleaver. I do have a fight, and I am excited to see how this pans out. Three enemies to begin with. Good lord. So yeah, Red Tusk says all items cannot be rotated. Age Shield adds 10 block, but costs more for the rest of the turn. So I might have to start using a bunch of food here. I guess I did have food, but I would prefer to use it for energy, yeah? So I could go bam, 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 eat, block, bam. And you know what? I think I'll eat again and then block, just so I don't take any damage. I'm pretty happy with this kind of setup. And this should hopefully be a manageable fight. But I guess this does mean I'll have to very carefully plan out my backpack setup, just because I won't be able to rotate. I mean, that should add an interesting step of challenge. And I'll also have to make extra planning when actually expanding my backpack. I mean, I think in this case, I would want something that's as squarish as possible, just so I have as many options as possible. This little thing on the bottom, I could shift this down here because that fits cleanly. An arrow. All right, I unlock that. It is a raro, but I don't have a bow, so it's effectively useless. Otherwise, I'm not really a big fan of any of this stuff. I'll just grab a key. Maybe I can actually use that for once. Like, I haven't had to use a single key yet. I was used to that being the case. Breastplate, I guess, would be nice. Get some good block. Actually, I'm not quite sure if there'll be space. Unless if I drop the arrow. Because, yeah, the only expendable things I have are these two. Okay, screw the arrow then. I think I need some armor. I hope it helps. Three enemies. Yeah, I definitely want the great luck. But what I can do is actually hit this bee twice and then one shot at him. At least this way I don't have to waste any energy blocking. Now he's going to run, like the coward he is. So I can hit him twice. I should have thrown the fire star last turn. Okay, I want to throw the fire star. Because three burn is three damage. Three per place, three is six. But I don't know about order of things. Burn activates at the beginning of my turn when it's on me. But I don't know when burn activates when it's on an enemy. I don't know if it's based off of my turn or if it's based off of the turn who's has the burn. So I think I'm going to no risk just uh, stab this. I'll take five damage and I, I'll test it out with Firestar. Yeah, I'll, I'll do like a little test here. Does it activate before it hits? Okay, it dealt the damage before hitting. So the Firestar would have been the correct play. Now I know. This is how you learn stuff in this game by trying it and taking five HP. I have no problem taking five HP because I am not at all worried that I uh, won't be able to get that back. That seems very easy to get back. Yeah, I'm not even slightly worried. I'm going to set up a spot for a helmet, I guess. If I get one, that would be nice. Whoa. A legendary sword. This item floats. For each adjacent or diagonal structure, plus two damage. Oh. I could also do a sweaty towel over the aged shield. Yeah, I mean, this is better. It takes up less space. It's cheaper to do multiple times. Ooh, whetstone. Adds poison to my weapon. Sounds pretty good. Can't take anything else. I guess I'll take the shield then. A little bit more XP. See how I do against the fight. The robber raccoon. I will block once just to make sure I'm fine and then wipe out the robber next turn. And even though he stole my money, I'm getting out right back. Not even worried. What a cool weapon. I don't have enough to finish him, but that can change. Get out of here, you rat. So I want it to be nearby structures. So I would almost want to set up something here to allow structures to be built. Because structures are usually heavy and they fall. Yeah, I like it. No structure. I did get boots. Okay, now I can really start messing around. If I put this down here, boots below, that should give a lot of extra block. Age shield. I mean, whatever. I won't miss it much. Unless if I want to just shift everything over. Since I don't have any structures, it doesn't really make a difference. Otherwise, I guess I could just take a little consumable. Oh, a vision of the next danger, the bee. Seems to be the bee a lot. Yes, I'm getting food and treasure, stockpiling all the stuff. Okay, the first fight's a while away. I just get a lot of free gold, free stuff, maybe a question mark before the shop. I don't know who the hell you are. The capybara. You see a wall up ahead and think you need to turn back. Then you realize it's not a wall, it's a huge rodent. A capybara. Hello, friend. I'm looking for an item of this type. Arrow. Do I have an arrow? No, but maybe I could come back? I continue onward? Yeah, hold up. Maybe I can get arrow from the shop for you. There are no arrows in this shop. Oh, add seven block adjacent weapons and get plus one damage this combat. 
That's pretty good. In that case, how about I get rid of this aged shield? I'm just gonna shuffle around this just so I can easily set up the play I'm going for. I could fit the shield in right here. I might sell the poison whetstone. I don't plan on using it for poison. I'll just take it for its money. Now the boots would be best on the ground, but just based on how this is set up, it's the best they can do. I'll sell the towel. Screw it. Soldier's buckler is more fun. And with that, I could maybe find an arrow in this chest. <gasps> yeah, uh, arrow in the chest. I just have to fit it in without rotating. That's actually not too bad because I could put it in right here. I like a lucky ring. Ooh, how about I lose the dart, take a lucky star. If I already have luck added from the lucky ring, does lucky star create great luck? Or does it do nothing because I already have luck? I guess there's one way to find out. Well, it wouldn't be too decisive, but I do have an arrow. That's the main thing. So here you go, buddy. That's great, he says. Maybe you want one of these instead. Oh, a better arrow. No, I don't want... <laughs> I don't want that. Yeah, I'll take the arrow right back because that's all I can fit. Well, I'll carry on. First fight on this floor. I right, get hit for quite a bit and launch my dart. Do a little block once and I think I can just whap this guy twice, finish him off. Didn't necessarily need the extra damage, but it was nice. Anyway, I guess this fight's pretty easy. Oh, the shoe hat. Hmm, do I want it to be a shoe or a hat? I'm not sure. I think the shoe right now is fine. I don't know if I can get it next to the breastplate. If I do this, effectively nothing changes, but it does give me the chance to fit another diagonal armor by the breastplate and weapon. Yeah, I'm not too impressed by this loot. Do better. Welcome to my game show. Oh, roll the dice. Let's see, on taking damage, add seven spikes to self. That's interesting. I might just take the bowl of fruit if I can get it. Top hat on take damage, gain gold. Adjacent melee weapons get plus three damage. That sounds really good. And okay, have extra energy when less than 50% health. I'm honestly happy with the fruit. I think I'm gonna be powerful enough where it won't matter. Honestly, I don't need the heart ring. It doesn't even give me regular HP, just, just max HP. It's unfilled max HP. Blech. Okay, I'm blocking for nine. I mean, if I block again, I guess I block everything. So I could just get rid of the raccoon right now. And then I'll launch poison right here on you. Yeah, seems good to me. And I mean, these are practically identical. They're both gonna be an awkward amount of HP after hitting them for 10 three times. Sometimes there's only so much you can do, but it doesn't really matter. Here, at least I'd prefer to block so I can build up uh, damage my weapon. Now I can three shot him. Anything good here? I did get a hat, another soldier's buckler. Two is not better than one here. This is a wand buffer and it barely adds any block. Kind of lame. I could just take a shiv because that's free damage. Still, I guess I could take the hat. It adds four block in total because of the breastplate. I guess that's nothing to scoff at. Ah, more rat wolves. Okay, well again, I can block once and be fine. I'll start on this small rat wolf. And not taking any damage. There we go. And I've got free rain on the big guy. And with only one attacking at a time, I'm pretty much safe from everything. Gonna take a long time before they can build up enough. Okay, go to level up. Let's see, so I do want the hat up here. It also buffs these boots. And I think I'll just fill out this area. Yeah, I quite like it. Take the cap, move it over here. Swap these two like so. Oh, uh, well, I can't rotate the jade axe. It's kind of bad like that. I may just reroll. Yeah. Let's see if I get anything I like a little more. The plasma sword can be used one time each turn. Adjacent weapon above deals plus three damage. Above. Okay, but it's free though. So I would love to put it below the cloud sword, but that's not possible. Oh, this thing is cool though. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna bring back the boots, keep that low, and then put this over here. So at least my shiv becomes more powerful. Do I want a sapphire? I mean, sure, I guess. Say, screw the disgusting food. Can I get the sapphire to buff more things? Possibly. Well, if I did, I would ruin the bronze breastplate buff. Yeah, I can't buff everything with everything. At least the sapphire is hitting the cloud sword. That's the weapon I'll be using the most. Oh, hey, and I can heal. There we go. That's why I wasn't worried. So bring on the bee boss, right? Yeah, the queen bee. <laughs> Getting dealt 11. That's nothing. So I get a free damage here and then plus three damage. Does this keep going up is the question. 
Kind of a bad look, actually. There's going to be two bees on the field. They're both attacking. I'm getting hit for 17. Okay, the ship actually does... Oh, man. It does hold its additional damage. If I could get something above it that's uh, short enough to actually be buffed by the plasma sword or to fit in, that'd be cool. Unfortunately, I cannot wipe out the queen bee this turn. How do I deal exactly 22 damage? Trick question, I don't. Here's the plan. I'll just block and then just go straight for the queen bee. Yeah, these tiny little bees, they don't concern me. And I'm even slightly worried. Okay, I'm gonna add a bit of poison. That would be scary if I didn't have a... Oh. Oh, the plus three damage doesn't stack on the shiv. Okay, it's good to know. Well, no matter, it should be running away now. Yeah, flee like cowards. Oh, uh, sticky honey hazard. Um, stuff gets anchored when it's used. Maybe the buckler. Just lock it in the corner. Yeah, just super lock in the corner. Oh, so these don't flee because this guy's still alive. On use, it gets destroyed. So hold on. If I use it, though, then it wouldn't have the one-year turn ends. So at least this way, I can get rid of this guy. These guys will flee. Nothing gets locked in. All is good. Anything good here? <laughs> A relic. When I would take five or less damage, reduce the damage to one. When taking damage, each turn effects are applied again. All weapons get 500% bonus damage. Uh, all weapons get on use destroyed. Okay, so I'm definitely taking alloy. The other two are kamikaze. At least I get to reduce damage. Screw the lucky ring and screw the sapphire, I think. Also, it's crazy I still haven't come across any structures. Oh, wait, this is nice though. Hold on. Par parcel is meeting me here. I can go to the mail carrier. You take items to and from Haversack Hills. So I could drop off stuff like the bowl of fruit. Neat. And other stuff I would want to drop off, but don't because they actually benefit my build. Well, the plasma sword shiv combo represents 13 damage per turn for free, which don't get me wrong, 13 damage is nice, but it takes up four spaces. I'm actually willing to commit to the cloud sword and just look for structures and then take the fun little plasma sword and say goodbye. It's just not economical. So, uh, ta-ta. And maybe there's some structures in here. Oh. Well, adjacent melee weapons get plus three damage. That's awfully good. Just, uh, gotta figure out how to fit it. Yeah, with no rotation, that's gonna be a bit of a bitch. Well. Okay, let's do a full reorganization then. I have an idea of how I'd want to go about it. It's just really ugly. Kind of looks like this. Yeah, that is super duper ugly, but it's not bad. This cap is a lot worse now. Yeah, but his base damage is 13, and it keeps going up, so that's pretty good. I could put this cap here, turn this into a hat. What? To turn into a hat. Wait, does transforming count as rotating it? I guess, technically. Maybe it's only the shoe hat that acts like that? I mean, if so, it's kind of funny. And it can still get a ton of block here, so what am I really worried about anyway? The only thing is this cap sucks now. It sucks a little less here, but still sucks. Oh, the crystal gauntlets get armor because of the breastplate. Damn, this breastplate is OP. I am not prepared to get structures. So, deep cave or enchanted swamp? Well, deep cave might be where the mom is. So, I should go check that out. So, deep into the caves we go. Big key. On my way down. Floor four. So, what kind of events does this area have? Oh, it's still got the chef. But I can buy food for money. You know, I have a lot of gold to spare. Let's try it once. See what I get. Did I get the water canteen? I did. That's a pretty good one. I was kind of hoping it'd be a tiny one, though, that I could replace a sapphire with. The more I think about it, the more I hate it. So I guess I'm just not taking it. Enjoy the money, I guess. Fear me, brigand. The fox steps out from under the shadows. Natural prey, he says. If we battle, I shall make short work of you. Be friend or foe. I don't want to fight. You know what? I'll beat your ass. See how it goes. 360. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's pretty bad. Okay. I understand. This will be fun. You know, I'm actually not too worried about this still. I mean, I have scaling damage with the soldier's buckler. And I think it's actually better to overblock in the beginning just to build up massive damage on this guy. Oh. When destroyed, create smoke plumes in spaces in this column. 
Does uh, smoke make it so I just can't see my stuff, or are there other downsides? Let's see, right, I deal 16 damage. I would have to hit this guy over 20 times. So that means if I use the soldier's buckler, the plus one damage is effectively plus 20 something damage, which is better than plus 17 damage. And I think again and again, and let's see. So I could also skip it, but like what happens if I use it? Does it, hopefully it doesn't like disable stuff. Yeah, hopefully it just covers it up. I mean, that's fine if so. I have less block. I should have put it over the red tusk then. <laughs> so my items could be rotated, clearly. Well, I mean, I guess it won't matter at the end of the turn because I'm about to, um, it's about to take up the column. Which would then, oh, create smoke puffs in spaces in this row. Maybe I should have just declined it. Well, I'm getting another one. Okay, I'm more nervous about this fight now. I'm hoping that maybe I can just beat him fast enough. Can I place it over other smoke puffs? No. Oh wait, these smoke puffs, when my turn ends destroyed on use, destroys itself and all adjacent diagonal hazards. That's not too bad, actually. If that's all that does and doesn't create more smoke, then I guess I could start here. So it's like only a little bit of block of my stuff. I, I could handle that. It can hit me for 30. Okay, I guess I'll say no to that. Oh, and I said I was going to put it up here, but I you know, also have to realize the cascading in rows kind of changes a little bit. So it doesn't matter. I can start really just whapping at them now. I'm making good progress, regardless. Gives me another one. Like, at some point, the shoe hat's going to be covered up. So I should have it just be covering it up later. Yeah, I'll put that here instead. Now he's hit me for 28. I can block twice. Hit him once for 20. Yeah, I think so. I think this is better than blocking now. A perfect block. And now I can just start going at him. I mean, this is beautiful. This build is OP. Oh, another one? And say it ain't so. I'm not scared of your shit. Okay, I guess I'm blocking three times. I mean, sure, why not? With an extra flex if I can just perfect him. 30 damage per hit. It's beautiful. Next turn, I think he's just done for. So uh, this is a really good sign for this build. <laughs> A really good side. 36 XP. That's the reason why I wanted to fight him. I'm like, he's got to give a lot of XP. How worth it was that? Oh. Adjacent diagonal shields get plus one block this combat when used. Well, that's better than the cloud sword, which, by the way, I have not found any structures yet. I could just give up on that and go fox rapier instead. I want to keep it, though for other purposes, it's just I don't have the space. But I mean, if my damage and block are both scaling, it's game over. I could just say screw the gauntlets. Plus three damage is nothing with this scaling. Yeah, that's four spaces for plus three damage. I do want to keep the cloud sword. I'll just, um, I'll the shitty shoe be here. And then with my extra space. Okay, maybe a key will be useful now. Oh wait, maybe there's something slightly better I can do. I could put this here. So it gets the uh, breastplate buff. And I don't really need the banquet. Let's see what's this way. Some normal enemies, huh? Easy foes in comparison. I mean, damn. I'm sorry, I didn't realize you guys flew in from bitch town. Let me accommodate you. Oh, 14 damage? That's adorable. Let me just build up my block. I can block for 13 if I want to, which I don't even need to because I'm overpowered. <laughs> yes, this builds a good time. A great time even. So what do I get? Oh, lucky ring, that could be nice. Oh, a vision of danger. What boss am I going to get? The badger boss. Don't remember what he does. I can check this out. Oh, Earthstone Blade. This is great if you're able to rotate it, but you can't do that. Well, do I sell the Cloud Sword here or do I take it back to town? Let me see research. There is no benefit for like having a legendary weapon, except for just getting more cheese and other stuff in town. But to be honest, I'll just take the money. I could find other stuff to bring back to town, like the food or whatever. Oh, I could get another breastplate if I wanted to. Like I could go hat here and then husk here. You know what, say screw the sapphire. Give me another bronze breastplate just for a super uber buff in block. I think actually the cap does better if I move it down a column thanks to the breastplate. Yeah, I feel ready for a fight. The Repsecutioner. He's got four spikes or he will add four spikes. And spikes are basically just damage dealt back to me. I've got 
27 block? Wait. Oh, the Fox Rapier adds a block. I didn't even realize. So yeah, he may get to hit me back, but if I have my own armor, then I'm not really concerned. I think I'll block once and then hit twice. That will still leave me with plenty of block. Hot damn, this build is OP. All right, anything good here? Cutting board. When an adjacent consumable is used to add four block, that would be good if I had a consumable build. Oh, at least I get to level up. Apparently I can level up somewhere here. Damn it, apparently it's possible to level up from here. But actually, if I go into a fight, it's not gonna really change anything. Yeah, I don't remember the hotkey right now. I'll have to write it down or something. Uh, but either way, what are you gonna do? We'll add one dodge. So my attack would just do nothing. I could go block, hit, hit, because otherwise I would have to do three hits. And I would have effectively wasted a chance to block. 21, huh? Okay, when 14 damage is received, it will not take any action. I deal 13 damage, so actually I could go block, and then you would dodge my first hit, but then I deal 14 damage, so you wouldn't do anything. And now I have more than enough. Okay, so he's got some shifty movesets. I guess I'll spend my turn wiping him out. And I don't think I should fear anything. This guy sure hits for a lot. So it'll be done in no time. Yeah, get out of my sight. They may gang up on me, that, but they can't do shit. Okay, leveling up. Probably want to get down here for sure. I'll do a spot by the buckler. Maybe just store a shiver or whatever. Have that build up in damage. Moth bomb. On kill, replace with new moth bomb. On use, deal one damage. Destroyed. Each turn, plus four damage this combat. Well, this is cool. There's like a weapon I can stockpile almost. Eat. When a diagonal shield is used, adds one block. Oh, hold on. I could I could put this here and be fine. And I can get more block with the ring. Otherwise, it's not that amazing, but I'll take it. A little coin. Anything good in here? Locked. Oh, so this is where the key would come in handy. I could get a key from the shop. Yeah, I remember you were selling one. Yeah, screw this potion. Who needs it? Let's see if a key to chest is any better. What do you mean locked? I have a key. So I gotta drag it myself? I do. Well, another soldier's buckler. Yeah, that thing's cracked. Unfortunately, not really useful. I actually might keep a fish. There's a guy in the town who wants fish. About to hold on to you. This is nice. Next floor. Floor five of the run. <laughs> I got badger, badger. No mushroom. Look at this, I actually blocked perfectly. Or well, I did before I added more with the rapier. How dare you? They're hitting me for 31, so I guess I'm blocking once. And that is plenty fine. And they're back to not really bothering me. Get out of here. I guess I could have blocked first. No matter. It's basically over. Oh, and this does 22 damage, so I can get a new moth bomb. So, yeah. Oh, neat. Salami. Heals for 20, but removes 2 max HP. Sounds about right. Salami in real life does the same. Nah, I don't care about these. This fight will be better. That was a vampire. We'll deal 8 vampirism. Steal my HP. How dare you? Uh, I think if I block it, I'm fine. 8, eight and 7 blocks. Next, I'll target the cleric. Yeah, please don't bite through armor. Okay, it doesn't. Good. When my turn ends, replace with the malediction. On use, adds two poison to self. Oh, and it's destroyed. I see. Well, I can't help it. I guess I'm taking it. I may just take the HP instead of dealing with what, whatever BS this is. Six damage? Or I could just spend one energy to only take three damage total. I guess that's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, he's going to add a ton of poison. Uh-oh. Okay, so I definitely should have targeted this guy first. I don't know what a malediction is. I also should not have placed it there. I don't know why I did. I kind of just expected I was going to use it no matter what. And I guess I still am. It just feels awkward. The moth bomb does not kill. Yeah, I'm poisoned. Which damages me at the end of my turn. Which, unfortunately, I will reach. Okay, this time I'll take it, cover up the tusk. Because I do think I'll be able to use the moth bomb. Yes, 18 damage. Perfect. As much as I could ask for. Didn't lose that much HP. 
Holy rocket silo. Can be used one time each combat, creates a rocket in this column. I mean, not my build, but holy cow. There's some cool stuff in this game. It's the event. Oh, it's you, Pochette. We meet again. This time I'm gonna kick your butt. Bro, you should see the enemies I just beat up on. Are you sure you don't want to come to Haversack Hill? Never. All you service dwellers are the same. You come in here, wreck everything, and steal our stuff. Just like last week, some of your long-eared warriors came and burned down Blinky's village. Oh, those are different guys. We don't like them. Sounds like Kingsguard. You got it wrong. I hate those guys. I'm asking you to help me stop them. Lies! 250? That ain't shit. Although that probably does mean I should build up with block first. Yeah, yeah. Start stacking damage. 250 is a lot to fight through, especially with these other enemies. What the? A Coco and a Tiny. I mean, these guys are just kind of hanging out. You know what? I'll still wipe out the Tiny with the Moth Bomb, because I want to see if I maintain the damage when it comes back. No. Okay, it loses the damage it's built up. That's good to know. So maybe I want to save the Moth Bomb for, like, the end-end of combat. That means just building up damage with Soldier's Buckler. Waiting for the right time to strike. If I could have something that helps me maintain block in between turns, that'd be a good addition to my build. Otherwise, most things don't really improve this build. It's kind of just good. But uh, speaking of being good, let's uh, start popping off. Yeah, you came to the wrong neighborhood. Or I guess I your neighborhood is the wrong neighborhood. Listen, you, you just picked the wrong fight. It was a bad idea. You can... Back away at any time. I'll understand. No? Persistent, are we? Ooh, I'm taking 26. Well, hurts me to do this, but gotta learn your lesson somehow. That <laughs> went just as poorly as the first time. We don't have to keep fighting. You know, we can work together, come back to town, we can patch you up. I'd rather eat escargot. So, these snails aren't that bad. I'm not sure I know what that is, but I'll put you down this maybe later. Is there anything in, uh, in her backpack? No, I cannot loot her. The cruel, meaningless fight. I think I'll take the HP, just in case it matters for later. Whoa, the living shadow. Copies your action, attack, or defend. Uh, does that mean it deals as much damage as I deal? Like, if I block for 7, blocks for 12? If I hit for 13... Hits for nine. Oh, so it only does one or the other. Oh, in that case, I mean, I might as well just attack then. I have more than enough block. The only reason I would want to block is to just kind of build up my damage, which I think is valid. Yeah, you know what? I'll build up the damage. Next turn, I'll go in. Right, you're already attacking. 16 times three. Hmm. Whatever. I'm not worried. I block for just enough. And there we go. One enemy down. One to go. Should be pretty easy from here. And thanks for playing. Oh, uh, level up. It's been a while. Probably do another one here, right next to the buckler. Maybe even one up more. One more up. You know what? I'll do this one, just in case there's something horizontal I can take. <laughs> another shoe hat. This is in hat form. So, perhaps. No, it doesn't like being in hat form at all. Rude. Okay, fine. It'll be in boot form down here. It's still pretty good. Six block. Really good. You can do a normal leather hat, just stockpile armor. A little bit of regen. Oh, I am almost never leveling up again. 200 XP needed. Uh, I might just take a Philosopher's Stone. This hat is not good. Yeah, it's not good. I think I'd rather just have another leather cap. I think I'll just take the legendary thing. I can destroy consumables for energy. Like this. Oh, hold on. The Moth Bomb is a consumable. So I don't want the Philosopher's Stone to eat it. I mean, whatever. I just won't ever use the Philosopher's Stone. Yeah, yeah. Don't give in to Temptation. Just taking it because it's legendary. What's this? Whoa. Binary Boy. Take a rare item for a curse. Oh, uh, I remember the wording of this was kind of bad. Still kind of is. Because I'm not 100% sure if I give it a curse and then get a rare item back, which doesn't even apply. Or if I would gain a rare item and gain a curse. It seems like it, the word exchange would certainly be nice here. Or replacing the word for for and would be nice here. Doing one of those two would clear up perfectly. You know, precise English is valuable. This wording, still sloppy. It's not ideal. Either way, I don't have a curse. And frankly, I don't need to change anything about my build. My build is great. 
Care to do a trade? Different item of the same rarity? Um, oh, I mean, I could always do this. Uh, not the Philosopher's Stone. I might get something bigger, which I don't want. You know what? Never mind. Uh, like I said, my build is great. I think with that mod, I'm even going to go down a floor. Screw the fight. Screw the chest. It's not like I'm going to level up. And frankly, it's not like I need anything in the chest. The build is just so good. If anything, I should just be efficient and win. This guy has not even that much HP, but he will become angry. That means I gotta start by building up some block. Also building up the moth bomb. And I think I'm just gonna target the badger boss directly. Now, I do get hit for a lot, but I'm not worried. I got 63 blocks, so yeah, I'm not worried. Let's see, 18 damage. Well, 18 times 18 is 324. So I'm gonna have to hit about 19 times in order to wipe him out. So I'll probably block one more time and then get that sweet 19 damage going on the Badger boss. I mean, he's adding rage. They're getting angry. I am getting hit for a bit for 49. Okay, so I can block once, hit twice, still stay at max HP. It uh, does scale very fast though. I mean, I'm good at scaling, but this thing is like really good at scaling. I swear, I get three hits in here. Then there's gonna be four of them. They're gonna be hitting for a lot, I imagine. Oh yeah, that's a lot. 77 to be exact. Well, that's intimidating. At least I block for 14. Do I go all out block or do I take some damage here? Okay, this is actually where I gotta start thinking about this. So I get hit for 77. Then the next hit won't be that bad. But then the turn after, there will be five of them hitting for a shit ton. So maybe I gotta work together a three turn kill here, combined with Moth Bomb. I'll have two more turns and launch this, so 41 damage after Moth Bomb. So there will be block on this guy. That's what's gonna make it tough. I don't know how much he's gonna block for. Well, probably nine exactly once. Yeah, I should consider him to have 214 HP. So if I deal 41 damage, he'll be down to 173 HP which means I need to hit him nine times with the rapier, which would mean I don't block at all. That's concerning. Um, 39. If I hit three times with the rapier, I'd be at 42 block. So I'd be hit for 35, which would keep me alive, but there's no fucking way I survive the next turn. So maybe I have to lose the fish, spend an energy. And I don't know exactly how much they're attacking for next turn, but it will be these three with the slightly less rage probably gonna be close to 60 damage in total. I think I should block at least once right now. Yeah, doing the math, blocking once right now will at least let me live one more turn. So if I launch the rapier nine times, I would need to use the guppy. I mean, that might be fine. Also, regen procs at the beginning of a turn, I believe. So I should launch this now since I'm about to take damage. So that way I might be as safe as possible. I don't know exactly how safe I'll be but I think it's good to know at least I'll be somewhat safe. So 26, now I'm getting hit for not that much actually. 37 plus 15, so 53, 52. 52 when I block the rest. Well, let's see, if I get seven rapier hits. Oh, I did my math wrong, I think. Wait, no, 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 that's fine, I'll have the moth bomb. No, I wasn't taking account of the moth bomb. I think seven rapier hits wins it for me after the moth bomb. I take a touch of damage now but nothing I can't heal through. I do have to spend the fish. This is actually kind of down to the wire. Um, actually, I might not need to spend the fish. Hold on. 63 plus 42. Ah, oh, it's 105. I barely need to use the fish. Unless if I think I can tank this. I'm getting hit for 110. I have 39 block. I can block for another <laughs> 57. It's 96 block, so I'm taking 14. I actually live if I block three times. So then I could maybe save the fish. I think that actually might be the damage I need to get over the hump. Oh, and he will be giving himself 10 block though, so he'll have 119 HP. Well, frankly, it, okay, I'll still be alive and I'll have the fish available. I just don't know if I have enough damage. I might not. I might have to use the fish anyway. That's kind of funny. I mean, I guess I just win now and keep the fish. And all the badgers are scared, so I'm fine. Yeah. Good lord. Barely. I mean, I guess next turn would have been an even better kill, but uh, kept the fish. <laughs> Barely survived. Okay, that was actually a pretty scary boss. Act 2's got hands. Well, I'm definitely liking these longer battles now. Finally, I get my rewards. Which, um... 
Oh, I'm gonna have to shuffle stuff around for. You know what? Screw these boots. Who needs the boots? I can lose those any day. This was a win well earned. I can't wait to give all this stuff away in the town and grow everything. Matthew's got a blue question or exclamation mark. I heard about the enchanted swamp. How do I get there? Wait, was that not possible to access? I thought that was an option. We'll need lost sparks for a key. But before we can do that, you'll need to conquer the deep caves. Why well, did that? There are store a little more areas to unlock. Yeah, I have lost sparks for you. Oh, deep caves. I need two for the bramble. Okay, sure. I, I actually have two lost sparks, so that's perfect. I've conquered it several times. Back when I carried a backpack, I sometimes explored there too. But I also knew another path. When you first enter the dungeon, be alert! There's another way that avoids the crypts. Ooh, some variety in the beginning. The bramble. Nice, more unlocks. With organization, you will conquer the bramble too. Where is the fish man? Oh. Fish enthusiast. I have a fish for you. Fish. That is a fish, all right. A little something for you. They gave me something. I didn't see how much. Oh, oh, a new quest where I start with fish and the fish sword. Ooh, the return of the fish build. That could be fun. Maybe we can catch some here right in town. A fishing shack. Creates five food while I'm in the dungeon. More food per water tile. Okay. How much does that cost to build? That's pretty cheap. I can't build it right on the water like this for some reason. I could build it down here, though. There's a lot of nearby fishing tiles. I mean, this seems like the ideal spot. What's the efficiency on this bad boy? 387%? <laughs> Wait, that's OP. That's so good. I'm getting so much food. I'm still short on it, but not for long. Oh, here's the parcel. Hey, thank you for carrying my stuff. Um, the items I brought back were already stored in my inventory. Uh, cool. Also, as a loyal customer, you've earned a reward. A pouch. Wait, a backpack within a backpack? Okay, help me store stuff I can't use, but might want later. I do 100 squats a day. And a boy. What else can I give? Okay, library. I did the tusk research. So now... Oh, I get the actual relic. It has the same downside. It doesn't affect the components or cores, but it adds two energy every turn. So it actually has an upside. Well, that's nice. What's the deal with you, Sir Wartsley? Oh dear me, my lass. This town, so shabby. When I heard of a cozy hamlet in Oakshire Forest, I imagined hometown chic, or at least countryside quarter. No, this simply will not do. My eyes ache at the sparsity, the vast expanses of nothingness. Well, you want to actually do some hard labor and clean up some rubble? If not, shut the fuck up. I'm the illustrious Todrick Wartsley, and I have a vision for this town. Oh, please don't tell me you're fucking running for mayor, too. Beautiful, thriving, yet understated. Together, my dear, we can make this happen. Allow me to offer you a new decoration as a start. Item pedestal. Display items on the pedestal. Place this. I can show off any item I bring back. I have another gift for you. A place where we can research more accessories. A jeweler. Okay. Accessories to buff up the buildings. Okay, it's just the businessman. The price for accessories is not low, but the reward is high. I have a few more ideas for an enterprising young rat such as yourself. Continue researching and I'll formalize my plans. What the bounty board? Oh, bounty board. I can complete the armor. Take my leather cap. Red root. Another challenge. Nice. Okay. But I don't really have a reason to do a pedestal yet. Instead, I'll just do crates. Uh, I can <laughs> I can only afford one, huh? Damn, I'm broke. Oh, actually, this is fine. I can almost sell, like, incrementally. Like, what if I sell a bit, and then with this build more decorations to, like, maximize my uh, gain? I mean, this, this is really ticky-tacky. But, at least using this technique, I can sell these two for 140% efficiency. Whoop-de-doo. Oh, no, all these things. Wait, I thought I gave the guy the fish. Maybe I just showed it to him? He didn't even want the fish, he just wanted to see that a fish existed. Maybe I should keep, like, rare stuff like this. Legendary stuff. Yeah, maybe only sell duplicates. But I think once I destroy, I'll have enough cheese to make another, um, fishing hole, anyway. So where do I want this one? I mean, I could have it be right next to the first one. I mean, you gotta fish by the ocean. How good is this one? 303%? Well, I am locked and loaded, ready to take on another adventure. 
Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. More Backpack Hero coming soon. Have a wonderful day and peace.